is up guys welcome back to the channel my name is brad and if you are a fan of 80s and 90s nostalgia retro and video game hunting and a little bit of resale this is the channel for you so smash that subscribe button now i've just come back from disneyland me and the family went for a few days we had a fantastic time it's magic the kids loved it we brought back a load of crap uh, my boy picked out this chewbacca plushie i absolutely love this i might steal this for myself Ooh! That's my Chewbacca impression, it's terrible. Um, but before I went away, I hit a car boot. Check it out. Must be today, is it? Do you have the giant turtle toy? No. Oh, the giant turtle is? Oh, yes. Yeah? yeah. I remember I was here. I saw I was here before when you had him. How much did you? Four pounds. Four pounds. You take two for him or not? No, four pounds. Four pounds. Can I have a look at him? Yeah, for sure. He's cool, isn't he? Yeah, I'll do four pounds for that. How much for the games? Two pounds. Two pounds, yeah. I like any of these, huh? Can you have a look? You've got them, haven't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got all them already, huh?
Yeah. Mate, how much? How much are the beans? Pounds, is it? Yeah. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Switch, is it? Yeah. How do I do it? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. the games. Yeah, Maybe. Okay, so most of the problems by the way, which is quite, you know, as it goes quite a bit like How much is Scooby Doo? What about Raymond? Uh, two pounds. Two pounds. Two pounds. So that was my trip to the car boot. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like it's getting less and less. It's probably the time of year, the weather. People don't want to go out in this sort of weather. It's freezing cold, but I picked up a few things I will show you right now. As always, I will stick the total of what I paid and their value down here as always. But let's get straight into it. So the first game I picked up was Bullet Witch for the Xbox 360. I never played it, but it looks kind of cool. Let me know in the comments below if it's any good. I also picked up this big stack of PS2 games. Always picking up the PS2 games. Are you guys getting bored of seeing me pick up just PS2 all the time? It seems to be all I find at these car boots and charity shops. But anyway, it's helping towards my huge PS2 collection that I'm building. Um, so I'll get straight into it. The first one is Groove Rider Slot Car Racing. These things are really clean, really good condition. They're all complete. Looks kind of fun. The next one is... From Russia with Love 007. Do like a 007 game. It's very cool. The old uh, Sean Connery right there. That's sick. The next one is Space Race, uh, Looney Tunes Space Race. This looks so cool. I love games like this. I love the Looney Tunes games. Just noticed it's covered in like some like orangey paint. Can you see there? But it looks like it comes off pretty easy. Nice addition to the collection. I love games like this. Just love the artwork on them. Tell me if you're the same. Do you like artwork like this? Will this persuade you to buy this game? <clears throat> the next one is The Incredibles. Love a Disney game. Just come back from Disney. Love a Disney game. Uh, the Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Rings. This is the only Lord of the Rings game I don't have for my PS2 collection. So it's nice to pick that up. It is the uh, Platinum Edition. I hate these Platinum Edition cases. What do you guys think? I hate them with this silver like uh, uh, border around the edge. Just not a fan of it. But anyway, it'll go into the collection. So I have them all now. Another Looney Tunes game here. Back in action. Again, I love the artwork on this. I don't know what it is. It looks kind of fun. It looks like a fun game. WWE Crush Hour. Now, this is a bit weird. It's like a racing. It looks like a racing game for the you know wrestling racing game, which is a bit odd. Never heard of it. Never played it, but it looks kind of cool. And I do love the wrestling games, especially the SmackDowns. They're awesome. The Italian Job LA Heist. I paid a pound for each of these games. 
Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Now, I don't have this one in the collection, so it's nice to add this. I love the Tony Hawk games. They're so fun. I was never a skater, but you don't have to be to play these games. They are sick. And the last one was Rayman 3. I think I paid £2 for this one separately to someone else. But Rayman was a fun game back in the day. So, yeah, I had to pick it up. Look at that reflection. That's bad. Anyway. That's all the games I picked up. But I also picked up this cool turtle. This is Michelangelo. This thing is sick. It's massive. It's girthy. But it's uh, it's very cool. It's going to go on the shelf. It will look sick standing on the shelf along with the turtle DVDs and games and stuff. So, yeah, trust the bits with this. And if you noticed, I saw this a few videos back. Didn't pick it up. Wished I did. Now I've got it. So, chuff the bits with him. So, yeah, guys, not a massive pickup this week, but a few games to add to the collection. A very cool TMNT figure. I'm loving that. These gloves are very cool. I'm running out of places to go hunt. Please let me know in the comments below if there's other places to go. I'm hitting the charity shops on the regular. The car boots seem to be drying up a little bit, so I need some inspiration somewhere else I can hunt, find cheap games. Please let me know in the comments below of any other places that you guys hunt or look for games or can find games for cheap. I'd love to find out where you go so I can also utilise them. But as always, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.